Hi guys, it's just Anna and welcome to my booktube on wrap up. We found Wonderland, you and I got lost in it. So, how was your booktube -thon? I think I did pretty well this booktube -thon. It was my first booktube -thon, so yay! My first booktube -thon. My first booktube -thon. And I completed all the challenges except the last one, which is read seven books. I think I did pretty well for what, what I was expecting to have read, so let's get started. First book that I read was the J.M. Barry's Lady Swimming Society. I gave this a four out of five stars and I really enjoyed it. This book has 304 pages and it was full of goodness. This book is about a woman named Joey and she is an architect in New York and she's fully focused on her career so much that she doesn't have a social life. So when she travels to England to visit her best friend and, and work on this job that she was offered, she meets these ladies that swim in this pond every day and they have like this club called the J.M. Berry's Lady Swimming Society. They are these elderly ladies and they're just full of fun and a bundle of joy. And Joey, since she doesn't have a social life, she doesn't really know how to make friends. But getting to know these ladies and getting to know the people in the town that she's staying in, she starts to learn the true meaning of friendship and life. So I really enjoyed this book. It was full of surprises and full adventures and really, really fun relationships to read about. And I read this on the first day of Booktubeathon and I really enjoyed it. And this is the book for the challenge with the blue on the cover. So check. The second book I read was Isabel Watching It Rain in Macondo by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And this was the challenge of read a book without letting go of it. And it has 45 pages and it was okay, I, I, it didn't surprise me or wow me, it was just a simple story, which is kind of confusing. It's I think it's because Garbeta Garcia Marquez, he, he writes really complicated and well thought out stories that I understand, but they're really hard to get into. Never let go, it was stuck to me forever. Yes. The next book I read was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. and. Love is not a strong enough word for this book. It was perfection, magic, wicked, everything you can think of into one book. I knew everyone liked this book. I knew everyone had really high expectations with this book and everyone rated it a five out of five stars. But I didn't wanna like, I didn't wanna go into it knowing all these expectations. I wanted to go into it with an open mind and erasing everything everyone else had said to me about this book. So, I erased everything, I went into it not knowing anything, and I loved it. I loved it. The, the first page hooked me, and I was screaming and fangirling throughout the whole book, and this, is, this went straight to my favorite shelf, and it will stay there for a very long time. I haven't read a book like this where I just immediately loved it so much since I read the selection in January, and I cannot wait to read Lola and the Boy Next Door. Stephanie Perkins is a god. First, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars, and I I have to read it again really soon. This book completed two of those challenges, which is read the book you last acquired and read someone else's favorite book. The next book I read was Just One Day by Gail Foreman, and I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. Don't be disappointed. If you're watching this, you probably love the book. I know. I just, I think the problem was that I went into it with really high expectations and I was kind of forcing myself to read it because, because this was for the challenge of read a book with the author's second initial is the same as yours. This doesn't mean I didn't like the book. I really enjoyed the characters and the story. I, I really liked it. The only problem was I feel like one part of the book was really dragged on. When she first went to college in that whole year. I felt like that was really dragged on, that her miserable mood affected my mood. I don't know, I just, it was something about the book, I think I just went into it with really high expectations, and I wish I would have loved it just like everyone else. But I also think that I went into this right after Anna and the French Kiss, and these books are really similar. Again, I'm not saying I didn't like it, I really enjoyed it. And I'm gonna read the second one, which is Just One Year, because it left off with a cliffhanger, and of course I'm gonna read the next one. There is still hope for this duology. Again, I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars, and this is for the challenge of read a book with the author's second initial the same as yours, and read a book that you really want to read. So, next thing I read what didn't finish was Tie Your Heart by Peter David, and I'm only 50 pages into this, so I didn't finish it for Booktubeathon, but I read 50 pages of it during Booktubeathon. So, I didn't finish it, which is sad. I wish I could have finished it. I could have, but there was time. 
but I just went into a huge slump after reading four books in a row. I, it, it was a lot for me. <laughs> so I'm still really happy with all the amount that I did read. And I completed all the challenges, which I'm really proud of, except one, which is read seven books. But I already knew that I wasn't going to be able to do that one. So those are all the books that I read during this Booktubeathon. I would love to know what you guys read. If you're new to this channel and you want to check out my other Booktubeathon videos, just click on my channel and I film my whole Booktubeathon experience for you guys. Well, I'm going to miss saying I'll see you tomorrow for Booktubeathon Day blank. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye! Really like complicated and well thought.